All right, AQA bio peeps, let's do this. Okay, paper two predictions. All right, so before I get into this, please, if you haven't already, check out this video on my channel first. All right, revise these topics for an A and A, start in A level biology, AQA paper two 2024. I wasn't going to do a prediction for paper two AQA, but I've had so many comments, so I'm just going to do it, right? Please watch this video instead, or at least before you watch this one, because it goes into the background of the analysis that I did from 2017 to 2023, what high yield topics are and how there's favoritism and go over the grain boundaries and all that good stuff. Okay, so please, if you haven't, this is where I want you to focus your time. Right, predictions, that's what you're all here for. Let's look at this. So this is a table very similar to AQA Biology Paper 1. I've essentially built on it up since then, right, where I've looked at it for... OCR biology and I did it for AQA chem. I've switched it up slightly, right? So we had a one and a zero binary system last time where it's just like, is it present? Is it not present? And that led to some very big limitations in terms of immunity, right? Immunity was the highest yield topic historically. Bear in mind, because it didn't show up in paper one, it's probably highly likely that it shows up in paper three, 2024. But again, I haven't looked at the high yield topics fully for paper three. I haven't finished analyzing it. That is coming, guys, I promise. But it's just, I've just been doing other stuff. Other subjects, other exam boards, life gets in the way. I'm doing it. It's coming, I promise. Okay. Before we get into the predictions, I forgot. Do not listen to me if you value your grade. Please do not listen to me. You should have revised the entire specification. Focus on the higher yield topics. From there, this is just me completely guessing, guys. I'm just looking at this table and guessing and seeing what's going on. Okay, so come at me if you're disappointed. But well, there we go. Again, this is just basically sorted from highest raw marks to lowest historically over the years. I'm gonna try and fly through this. If you don't wanna hear me just chat and ramble, Pause the video, screenshot it, send it to your mates, hold it to yourself, up to you. I don't judge, all right? All right, so let's get into this. Gene expression is controlled by a number of features. I'm gonna go all in on this one, guys. So we see low, very high, mid, mid, very high, mid, kind of low, low, mid, I'd say. These are both like low, mid. So I'm gonna say this is gonna shoot up and get high. Again, I'm just completely guessing it may be the same occurrence of immunity where it doesn't come up at all or comes up for like three marks, but I'm going all in. The chips are all in. I'm gonna go for high marks right here. Okay, that is my prediction. It is the highest yield topic historically. Let's move on, homeostasis. Okay, so we got four mids in a row. Then we had a high and then we had a mid. So I think this is gonna return to around the mids, you know, high single digits. That is my guess there. All right. When it does come up, nine marks on average, obviously, because we have so many repeats. So that is my prediction. I think this is very unlikely to get another high mark year like this. Likewise, I think it's very low chance to get a low mark right here. I don't think this is going to happen again. I think this is because it was the first year of the paper, but you never know. I actually have no clue. I don't work for AQA, but mid is my prediction. Let's move on. Stimuli. Okay, interesting. So... We have like, it progressively gets higher as we go to here. And then we're getting progressively lower down here with this anomaly. Again, the 2022 advanced spec kind of screwed things over. So my prediction with this one is it's gonna be low to mid. I reckon it's gonna be around here or lower. So you're, you're sort of shifting towards the lower end right here. Okay, that is my prediction. I have no idea considering it missed a year in 2022, they might make up for that. But who knows? Okay, have no idea, revise everything. Populations and ecosystems. So what's going on in the last two years? We've got nine marks collectively. 5, 12, 9, 2, 15. This one was the highest. And then this one was pretty high as well. Outside of that, you have like five to nine, four marks here. So I think it's gonna go up because we've had two pretty low to mids in a row. So I reckon we're gonna get a mid here, okay? Around five to nine marks is my prediction, maybe even higher, like nine to 12 marks. Um, again, I haven't seen paper three, but I'm gonna put a mid right here. All right, gene technology. So what we got going on? High, nothing, high to mid, mid to high. Mid, mid to low, low, mid. All right, so we've got four 
pretty mid to lows in a row. This one's pretty difficult because it had a super random zero there. I reckon this one's going to go up to around the 11. So I'm going to say low double digits, high single digits. That is my guess. Inheritance. What we got going on here? 9, 10, 7, 4, 9, 7, 5. Pretty consistent with an average of seven marks across the years. What have we got? So it's decreasing 975, 1074. Okay, so we've got a decrease here. We've got a decrease here. Obviously, this could just be a random pattern, but I'm going to say it's going to shoot up to one of these again because it sort of follows a three year trend. Again, completely random trend, possibly, but I'm going to go for a mid high single digits. That is my prediction. Again, it could be a zero, who knows? Right, nervous coordination. So the last three years have been pretty decent for this topic. Before that, we had two lows, and then before that, we had two mids. Okay, so I think it's gonna actually return to being a low to a mid here. Okay, that is my prediction here. I'm not, I'm, I'll be very surprised if it goes down to a three marks. I'm assuming that they had some marks in paper three. I would have loved to have finished paper three before doing this, but I've had so many comments asking for this prediction. Um, so I'm going to do it. But yeah, I don't think it's going to go this low. I'm going to guess around five to seven, eight marks. That is my prediction. I don't think we're going to get a repeat of this. Okay. Photosynthesis. So we got nine, nine, eight, and then it dipped to four. Then we had a zero, two sixes in a row. I think this is going to go up this year. Okay, I'd still say low to mid, but more towards this end of the spectrum. Okay, so high single digits. Would that be a mid? I don't even know. I've lost track of my scale here. I'm just going to say low to mid, but that is my prediction. High single digits. Evolution may lead to speciation, if you didn't know. 980 two six five five so the last three years have been pretty consistent in terms of the mark spread um and then these two years were, were pretty high comparatively we had a random year in 2019 when nothing came up where am i going to put this one i think so it's difficult right it could go one or two ways it could either shoot down to really low single digits or it could go back up to the higher single digits and follow there so I honestly don't know. I'm just sort of flipping a coin. Where do we think it's going to go, guys? Where do we think it's going to go? Evolution. What have we put for the other two? We've put mid and we've put mid. Okay. I think this is going to be... I think this is going to be around the same, low to mid. All right. So we're looking around here. I don't think it's going to shoot up and go down. Um, I reckon anywhere between five to eight marks. So like low to mid single digits. That is my prediction. Nutrient cycles. Okay, so we've had two pretty high years in the last two years, particularly last year we had 11 marks. So I'm going to say this one is going to come up. I think it is. But when it does come up five marks on average, I'm going to say it's going to come up for pretty low marks. So I'm going to say low marks right here. Anywhere from two to four marks is my guess. But again, I have no idea. Respiration is going to come up. It was low marks last year. Look at this. Barely anything, or well, actually nothing in 2019. Um, apart from that, respiration is surprisingly low. What the hell is going on here? 3502613. So you can get a mid after a low, and you can get a low after a nothing. So there is zero passing going on here. We're going up 2610. It dropped to three. I reckon we're going to get somewhere somewhere around here. Okay, five. So I'm going to say low to mid right here. All right. That is my prediction. I wish respiration was higher, but AQA don't seem to favor it that much. But there we go. All right. Energy and ecosystems. So eight marks here. Two, three, four, zero, eight, three. So I reckon we're going to get low, low to mid. I reckon it's going to hover around the three to four mark. That is my prediction. We had an eight in 2022, but I don't think that's going to happen again. So I'm going to say low marks. I'm, I'm guessing around four marks again. Nothing crazy. Um, even as low as two, potentially. Two to five marks is my guess. All right, let's move on. Skeletal muscles. I like this topic. 
8093008. Ooh, what well, we got? Two years in a row with nothing. This only has a frequency of four. So me saying it comes up is quite ballsy. So I'm actually going to say this one is either low or not at all. Okay, low or not at all. Let me fix that. Low or not at all. That is my guess here. As we can see, we had an eight here, and then it went to a zero. Eight here, maybe a zero after that. When there was a nine, which is similar to the eight, there was basically nothing after it. Again, I'm looking for patterns. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't think AQA are consistent. Pay attention to the high yield topics and revise in that way. Please don't listen to me. All right, populations. What we got going on here? Six frequency, three marks on average. Ideally, don't want to spend too much time on the areas which have low, like seven's pretty decent, I'm not going to lie. But the areas which have like three, two, one marks on average. Oh, yeah, I just spotted this five years in a row with nothing for using genome projects. So I think this one's going to come up. I think it's going to be low marks, but I think they're going to bring this one out of the bag right here. Um, so I sort of skipped ahead there. Where was I? Populations. So, ooh, this one's pretty consistent. 3226032. I reckon this one's going to come up for mid single digits. So you're looking around the five, six marks. That is my guess. I guess I'd call that a low, I guess. I don't know. Alteration of the sequence of bases in DNA can alter the structure of proteins. We've got three years with nothing in a row, guys. But when it does come up, pathetic. One, three marks. What is going on? I think it's going to come up. I'm confident that it's going to come up, guys, because we've got three years with nothing. But again, I think it's going to be low marks. So I'm going to say low marks right here. So I've basically said that everything's going to come up. Honestly, guys, it's super hard to say when something doesn't come up. It is super random. Like, look at this. Who would have predicted that outside of the advanced spec? Who would have predicted that? Who would have predicted that? Like sometimes they do put zero marks in, but just remember when they do put zero marks in, your revision time is not wasted because you have paper three. All right, paper three is where it's at. Okay, remember that. So my closing advice would be don't listen to me. Focus on the high yield topics. Focus on the areas of ha average high marks per paper and high frequency high marks in general. Outside of that, you just have to think to yourself, was it very low marks in 2023? and potentially 2022, but I don't like 2022 as a year because of the advanced spec, and then go from there. All right, seriously guys, best of luck, peace.